So hello learners welcome to the IIT Madras student community channel Today we will be solving the IITM graded assignments But before that subscribe us and join our channel to get full access and all our latest updates So now let's begin So everyone today we are going to solve the week 4 graded assignment question for the term 1 Here is the question if a b and c are the roots of the polynomial x cube plus 13x minus 21 and sum of the roots is 0 then find the value of a cube plus b cube plus c cube so we have our question that it has a cubic polynomial given with x cube plus 13x minus 21 and the sum of the roots that is a plus b plus c is given as 0 then we have to find the value of a cube plus b cube plus c cube So now let's move towards the answer. So as we all know that sum of the product that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to minus b upon a for any equation. And the sum of the product taken as two at a time that is alpha plus beta plus sorry it's alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma. Please remember that here I am written that a b plus b c plus a c. So it's all depends on you that whether you take alpha beta and gamma as the three roots. or a b and c or any other value as the roots so it depends on you whether you take any alpha beta gamma or abc so here i have taken both as mentioned as or uh, wait let me remove that ha huh. yeah so alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma as c upon a and then we have our product of roots that is product of roots a b c or alpha into beta into gamma will equals to minus d upon a so here we have our alpha plus beta plus gamma value minus b upon a and for alpha beta plus beta gamma and alpha gamma value as c upon a and we have alpha into beta into gamma as minus d by a Then we have the equation given as x cube plus thirteen x minus twenty one. So here we have our alpha, beta plus gamma value. That is, uh, adding alpha, beta, and gamma, we we know that it results as minus b upon a. So here, okay, yeah, wait, yeah. So here we have minus zero upon a. That is zero. Uh, please uh, wait. Uh, let me explain that we have. A is the co uh, constant value for x cube, and B will be the constant value for x square, which is not given here. Cause the value of B will be zero. That's why zero into x square is not given, and it is written as zero. So then we have for the value A, it will be for x cube. For the value of B, it will be x square, which is not given here. Cause its value is zero, and for C, it is thirteen for x, and for D, it is twenty one. Then we have our values for alpha b plus beta plus gamma minus b upon a that is a minus zero upon one that is zero as given as in the question. Then we have alpha into beta into gamma that is equals to minus d upon a. So we have uh, the minus sign as given here, and by taking minus sign from this, we have two minus signs that will combine to form a plus sign. So we have plus twenty one. then it comes for alpha beta plus yeah it's alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha that results as c upon a so we have c as taken as 13 and a is 1 so 13 upon 1 that will result as 13 now as we have to find as the represent as represented in the question that we have to find alpha sorry it's a q plus b q plus c q So let's find out that. Before that, we uh, know that uh, this formula is being also written as a plus b into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ac plus three abc. This is the formula for a cube plus b cube plus c cube. I know we can write this uh, in two different ways, but here I have used this because this one is easy to solve and also for understanding. Yeah. So here it is the formula for a cube plus b cube plus c cube. It's a plus b 
into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc and minus ac and after that plus 3abc so we have our values for the abc it is given that zero as given in the question and also we have found that uh, as we will as in the question by, by our method so for a b a plus b plus c it is zero and for a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c and minus a c you don't have to put the value because we already know that by multiplying zero with any number or any value it becomes zero the result becomes zero that's why we are not putting here so by moving that here for plus 3 a b c we have plus 3 into 21 because the value of a b c as shown above is 21 so 0 plus 3 into 21 results as 63 so the right answer for this question is 63